you know, now there's a, a little bit of a reset going on in the market where we're trying to figure out what is the optimal combination of form factor and chemistry for the various different applications. And um, so on, on chemistry, we're looking at uh, our normal, very high nickel content uh, batteries, but we have a mid nickel formula, formula um, which is closer to 60% nickel, which uh, we think is a very good balance of uh, cost competitiveness as well as uh, um, performance. But we are also, we do recognize that there is um, opportunity for LFP um, for a couple of different applications. For, Here in the U.S. specifically? <clears throat> so we have announced two LFP projects so far. Uh, we, did pro we did announce a LFP project here in the U.S., but that's for the um, ESS right. application, energy storage. The Holland place. Right? <clears throat> yeah. So we are exploring uh, LFP opportunities with OEMs in the North American market, but I would say that that's still in very early stages. Recently, we did announce a LFP partnership with uh, Renault in Europe. So, you know, it's something that uh, we have capability in. Again, 15 years ago, a lot of people thought that that was not, that did not have enough energy density. So we kind of shelved a lot of our, you know, technology and now we're bringing it back for certain applications. I think uh, just to close, we're, we're um, it's hard to predict everything in the future, but I would say we're trying to, maintain certain flexibility in the way we um, build products that we can have some combination of interoperability between chemistry and uh, form factor, which um, allows us to have more flexibility in our